is a very brief procedureready.com talk about ROGAM and RH physiology in general, really RH being RH negative, what that means in general. So RH, it's a red blood cell surface antigen. So think about it the same way you would ABO, ABO incompatibility. You can also have RH um, incompatibility. So it's a protein, it's an antigen that sits on top of um, red blood cells. And the only time you really care about this is when you have an RH negative mother. So you have an RH negative mother, um, her immune system, if she sees RH antigen sitting on a field of red blood cells, and then say, okay, this is something foreign, and then can become immunized against that and make um, antibodies against it. And so the way this this would play out physiology-wise is you have the in initial pregnancy, you have an Rh negative mom, Rh positive baby. A little bit of fetal um, red blood cells get into the maternal circulation. The mother sees these Rh um, antigens on the red blood cells and says, "Hey, this is foreign." Becomes immunized in a subsequent pregnancy. The mother will already have been immunized against um, against this antigen. If there's another Rh uh, positive child, then sh she, the mother can make IgG. Um, antibodies against this RH, which can then attack the fetus, and you can have um, very serious problems like hydrops um, fatalis. So preventing this from happening is uh, the goal of using Rogam. And so clinically, the way this works is the first thing you, that happens you want to find out is someone RH negative or not. Because if they're positive, then you don't care. So on the initial visit, say RH negative. Okay, yes, they are RH negative. That means that this is going to be um, an issue. And it's, you don't have to worry about if um, the fetus is RH positive or negative. Just go on the assumption that it's positive because it's something that could be really bad and you're trying to prevent it um, from happening. So you have an RH negative person in the third trimester, um, you make sure that they get Rogam, and that's going to prevent the immunization from happening. So how, how that works is you give these IgG anti-RH antibodies, which are um, shown down here, and what they do if any fetal blood gets across, and gets into the maternal circulation, these, uh, these antibodies very rapidly bind um, to the antigens and sort of coat the antigens. And that causes very quick um, obstinization. It causes very quick removal by macrophages and essentially eliminates um, the fetal red blood cells, which are the antigenic stimulus for the immune response, very quickly. So if you can think about it as if you give Rogam, the um, antigens will be gone before they can even um, cause the immunization, before they can even cause the maternal immune system to respond. So that's um, the general scheme of how that works. This is a very um, brief section, part of a larger pharmacology talk at procedureready.com. You can visit the website, see the full thing. I also encourage you to visit 52kids.org um, down here and consider making a donation. And um, uh, thanks for watching.